Okay, so we are still talking about this guy named Shifley that is trying to go from South America to North America with those two horses. So the tale of two horses is what we're still um, kind of reading about. Um, and we are going to begin reading on page 270 and 271. So go ahead and follow along as I read. From Peru, uh, Shifley headed into Ecuador and followed a series of tracks through lush forests over high mountains and, and down into valleys. At night, Shifley never, never tied up the horses. He knew they would not run away. Remember, they built that trust with each other. They knew these he knew these horses wouldn't run away, so he wouldn't tie them up. The three travelers were sharing a great adventure, each showing the others the way. Zigzagging up a narrow trail one day, Shifley saw that the path headed ahead had been swept away by a landslide, leaving a sheer drop. There was no choice but to turn back and find another route. Shifley tightened Gatto's packs and got ready for a long detour, but Mancha and other, had other ideas. Shifley saw with horror that Mancha was preparing to jump the gap. His heart rose in his mouth as Mancha sailed through the air and landed on the other side. So um, there was this huge gap. The Shifley thought, oh, well, we're going to have to turn around and go a different way because we're not going to be able to get over that way. One of his horses thought otherwise, tried to make the jump and made it. Okay, so they ended up um, going that way. Again, that's just teamwork. Okay, we had the one horse tried it and the other one knew that he could make it as well. So the three travelers, that just kind of backs up what the author said at the end of the lot or the end of the first paragraph on this page. The three travelers were sharing a great adventure, each showing the others the way. Okay, so they were taking turns, kind of showing each other the way to go. The horse turned and neighed to his companions not to be afraid. Shifley and Gatto soon followed. As their adventure stretched on and the three travelers reached the Panama Canal and crossed the Costa Rica or crossed into Costa Rica and then Mexico. Moving through dense jungle, the trio had to cope with mosquito bites and attacks by vampire bats and poisonous snakes. So do you guys think this journey was very easy for them? No, they sometimes had to turn around if they couldn't find a place that they could make it through. I mean, this in this case, this time they didn't have to do that, but there might have been other times they had to do that. Um, and then it also says the dense jungle, um, the thick jungle, and mosquito bites, attacks by those bats, and poisonous snakes. So they had some dangers, too. Um, the next paragraph says one mon or once Mancha slipped into a crocodile infested river. So we know infested means that there's just a bunch of them kind of takes over. So there was a bunch of crocodiles in the river. He only just managed to find a foothold and pull himself onto the bank as Shifley clung on for dear life. Okay, so crocodiles too. We talked about that quicksand. Okay, what do you think the weather was like? Do you think the weather was perfect? No. The weather probably wasn't perfect either, so they had to go through a lot of hardships to be able to do this, but they worked together and they kept going. Two and a half years after setting out from Buenos Aires, Shifley reached Washington, D.C. He had achieved his lifelong ambition, so he achieved his goal. He um, was able to do what he wanted to do. I could never have done it, he said, without Mancha and Gatto. My two pals have shown powers of resistance to every hardship. Shifley was given a hero's welcome, even meeting President Coolidge in the White House. Admirers suggest that the horses should live in a city park, but Shifley took Mancha and Gatto back to Argentina and set them free. Okay, so how long, look back in your story, how long did it take these three travelers, so those two horses and then Shifley, to be able to make this journey? Go all the way from South America. We can go back and look at that map all the way from South America, Argentina to or, yeah, Buenos Aires, Argentina to Washington, D.C. How long did it take them to make that journey? It says on the third paragraph down, two and a half years. OK, 
Okay, so two and a half years it took him to do that. Um, and then also, what did what happened to the horses in the end? What did the owner or Shifley decide to do with the horses? Other people thought that they should leave them in the city park, right? But Shifley knew that it would be best for them if he took them back to Argentina and he set them free, okay? He let them be wild again because that's how they were in the first place. So that's how he decided to leave them. Okay, let's go ahead and read some of our captions. So on page 270, we have um, some horses and it says herd instincts. Wild horses stay in groups or herds. Mancha and Gatto would instinctively follow each other, whatever the dangers. Okay, so that's why once one horse made that jump, the other horse trusted it and made that jump as well. On page 271, we have a picture of that dense jungle that they had to travel through. The jungles of Central and South Africa are home to some of the world's most dangerous snakes, such as the 30-foot anaconda. Okay, so very dangerous journey. Born free. Horses who grow up in the country can become sad and listless if confined in a city. Okay, so that's probably, we can kind of make a conclusion, that's probably why he decided to let those horses free back in the wild because he didn't want them to grow sad. They were used to being in the wild. Okay, and even through this long journey, they were wild horses. Okay, so he wanted to keep them um, free because that's how they were born. That's what they were used to. Um, and then above the crocodile, it says horses seem to remember that their ancestors were hunted by crocodiles and know to be afraid of them. Okay. Pretty interesting. Uh, go ahead and go to the next slide and we will continue on reading the last two pages.